the brute force method of solving the traveling salesman problem. Okay, in the brute force method, we are going to sit there. We're going to represent the problem with a complete weighted graph. We're going to list all the possible Hamiltonian circuits for the graph. And we're going to find the cost or distance for each one. And the cheapest one is our optional solution. Oh boy. Okay. Brute force me method. We're going to do one. It's not always the best way to do things. In our example, we had four vertices, Orlando, Tampa, Miami, and Bonifay, which means we're going to have six circuits. So we have to come up with all six circuits and check them. Now notice, if we have more vertices, we'd have to sit here and list them all and find their weights. Okay, so I brought back this uh, graph that I had from before, Orlando, Tampa, Miami, Bonifay. I want to list all of the circuits that this salesman can take that begins and ends in Orlando. Okay, our salesman can go from Orlando to Tampa, from Tampa to Bonifay, from Bonifay to Miami, and from Miami to Orlando. Okay, so that would be this circuit, Orlando, Tampa, Bonifay, Miami, Orlando. Okay, so in order to find the weight of this one, I'm going to add 85, 329, 558, 232. Okay, all right. My next one that I can come up with here is starting again in Orlando. I can go to Tampa. But instead of going to Bonifay, I can go to Miami, then go to Bonifay, then come back to Orlando. So in this case, I would be adding from Orlando to Tampa, 85, 246, 558, and 334. Okay. Alright, so instead of going to Tampa first, I could go to Bonifay first, from Orlando to Bonifay, and then go to Miami, then to Tampa, come back to Orlando. Or, I can go from Orlando to Bonifay, go to Tampa first, then Miami, and come back to Orlando. Okay, so notice I'm trying to do this systematically. Okay, first I went to Tampa, then I interchanged my next two locations. Then I went to Bonifay, interchanged these two. Okay, so I've already tried Tampa first, Bonifay first. Let's try Miami first. Okay, so from Miami I could go to Tampa to Bonifay, come back to Orlando, or Miami to Bonifay to Tampa to Orlando. Okay, notice how many we have. I have six, and these six are all of the ways I can do it. And now what I want you to do is to fill in how much each one of these are in distances. Okay, so go ahead and pause right now, and I want you to add up the distance on each one of these. Do it at least once and humor me. Okay, so hopefully by now you've done adding, and you've noticed the pattern. Uh, two of these should always add up the same, because all they were were the same path but in reverse. Uh, so, for example, if you look at these two that had the least amount, this one went from Orlando to Bonifay to Tampa to Miami to Orlando. And this one was just exactly in reverse, Orlando to Miami to Tampa to Bonifay to Orlando. So it makes sense that they were paired up like this. Okay, so these were all six Hamilton circuits. The least one was uh, 1,141 miles, which tells me that this salesman, if he wants to travel the least distance, should travel in this order. Doesn't matter which way he goes, but he should start from Orlando to Bonifay to Tampa to Miami and come back to Orlando, or in the opposite direction, Orlando, Miami, Tampa, Bonifay, back to Orlando. And that's his least distance covered. Okay? Now, if we have more than four vertices, th this is not good because we're going to be sitting here um, making a whole lot of these 
adding up a whole lot of numbers even after we pair them up. Okay, so we do have another method of approximating this lowest one here. It won't guarantee you the lowest one, but it'll get you close. Okay, so I want you to remember that when we did brute force and found them all, we know that the cheapest route, the least distance, is 1,141. We're now going to do this other algorithm. Let's see which one of these paths the algorithm comes up with. If, you know, if we don't come up with this one, we should be able to come up with one of the other two. The algorithm is called the nearest neighbor method. Okay? In the nearest neighbor method, what you're going to find is an approximate solution. Okay? Um, so notice it's not going to always guarantee you the least one, but it's going to get close. Okay? So you start by representing your problem with a weighted graph. Um, identify the starting vertex, which is usually given to you. At the starting vertex, choose the edge of smallest weight. Okay? So from your starting edge, choose the smallest one. At the second vertex, choose the one with smallest weight. And you're going to continue this process and keep going, always trying to choose the edge with least weight until you have them all connected. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and try that on our Orlando problem. Okay. So remember, this is our Orlando problem. Okay, if we're going to do nearest neighbor on this, and I'm going to change to a yellow highlighter. Okay, remember he was starting in Orlando, right? So if he was in Orlando, let's look at the three edges coming out from Orlando. We have one that's 85, 334, and 232. Which one's the least one? The one with 85. So I'm going to choose the one with 85. Okay, so to start my path, I'm going to go from Orlando to Tampa, for 85. Okay? Notice that one wasn't even in this other one that we came up with. Okay? All right, now we're in Tampa. Agreed? Now from Tampa, we can go to Miami or Bonifé. A distance of 246 or a distance of 329? Well, which one's smaller? 246. This one right here. Okay? So from Tampa, I'm going to go to Miami for a total of 246. Now from Miami, now I have no choice. I have to go to Bonifay, okay? Because I can't go back to Orlando. I got to go to Bonifay. So there's only one way to get to Bonifay here, and that's for 558. And now from Bonifay, I need to go back to Orlando for 334, okay? So... That was this one right here, which is 1,223, okay? And this is one of the problems with the nearest neighbor algorithm. It'll give you an answer. It won't necessarily be the best answer. In this case, since we know all of them, we actually got the worst answer. But that's okay. If I ask you to do nearest neighbor, I want you to follow through even if you get the, this one, okay? If the directions say to use nearest neighbor and you give me one of these two as your answer, it will be marked wrong because using nearest neighbor, you had to have come up with this option right here. Okay, so let's work a problem from the beginning and it has a whole uh, little bit more stuff to it. All right. Alte lives in Boston, Massachusetts and works for Ocean Spray Cranberries. Alte wishes to visit cranberry farms in the following locations. Madison, Wisconsin, Princeton, New Jersey, Salem, Oregon, and Walla Walla. The one-way flight prices are given in the following table. Okay? Now, what I'm going to want to do with this is I'm going to want to find the shortest route and I want to use nearest neighbor. Okay? All right, so the first thing I need to do is make a graph. Okay, notice one, two, three, four, five. We got five places to visit. Okay, so let's put one up here, one here, here. Okay? Those are my five places. 
Okay, let's say this is Boston, Madison, Princeton, Salem, and Walla Walla. Okay, and I can travel between all of these cities. So I'm going to draw a complete graph, which means I'm connecting everything. Okay, and I'm missing one right here. Okay, so this one's easy to see when you've got it all in there. Okay, now I have to label these. Okay, so this is Boston to Madison for 131. Boston to Princeton is 256. Okay, Boston to Salem, right here, Boston to Salem is 298. And Boston to Walla Walla is 576. Okay, and I'm going to keep, um, you know, going through here. All right, so Madison to Princeton is 154. Madison to Walla Walla is 970. And Madison to um, Salem is 356. Let's see, we got this one, we got this one. Salem to Princeton is 353. And Salem to Walla Walla is 179. Okay, let's see. We've got this one, we got this one. That one's labeled Walla Walla to Princeton is 1164. And now we've got them all labeled, right? Okay. So far, so good? All right. Now, in the problem, they say that Alte lives in Boston. All right, which means Alte needs to begin and end in Boston. So I'm going to start in Boston. Okay, so right here. Since I'm using nearest neighbor, I'm going to look at these edges out coming out of Boston. Okay, which one is the smallest one? Well, we have 256, 576, 298, 131. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to go from Boston to Madison. Okay, and that's going to cost me 131. Okay. Now we're in Madison. From Madison, I can go to Princeton, I can go to Walla Walla, or I can go to Salem. So I'm looking at 154, 970, and 356. Who's least? 154. So from Madison, I'm going to Princeton for 154. I circle them as I go. That way I can remember what I'm going to add up later. Okay, from Princeton. I, don't, I can't go back to Boston because I'm not done with my trip yet. So I need to go to Walla Walla or Salem. So I've got 1164 or 353. Well, that one's easy. 353. And now I'm in Salem. Okay, from Salem, well, can't go back to Boston because I ain't done. I have to go to Walla Walla. Okay. So go to Walla Walla for 179. And now I have no choice but to finish my trip by going back to... Boston for a total of 576. Okay, so now I got to add 131 plus 154 plus 353 plus 179 plus 576. And check this, I think that's uh, uh, 1,393. I hope so.